Geek Grotto. Okay, um, okay, we're here with Eben Upton from the Raspberry Pi Foundation. Okay, um, can you please tell us a little bit about your foundation and its purpose? Okay, so the foundation is a uh, is a spin-off from uh, from Cambridge University in the UK, um, and what we're trying to do is provide a platform that children can use to um, uh, to develop on. You know, very much like in the 1980s, we had Commodore 64s, we had uh, TRS 80s. Uh, many of my contemporaries uh, started programming when they were eight or nine or ten. Um, these days, there is no platform like that, so we're trying to kind of fill that gap, provide a computer that's cheap enough you can give it to every child. Uh, it's cheap enough; it's not worth stealing. It's cheap enough that if you break it, it's not a disaster. Um, and that comes preloaded with all of the programming software you might need. So you don't need to go out and get the software. Uh, it'll be installed on there from day one. That's nice. Um, and you are just hit manufacturer of your product, the Raspberry Pi. Can you tell us a little bit about that? OK, so yeah, we, um, uh, we've had this thing under development for four or five years. And uh, yeah, last Friday, we pressed the button on manufacture. Uh, we've been told that we have about a three to four week lead time. So we're kind of really hoping to have volume devices available uh, for sale by the end of the month. Cool. Heard there are two different models. Initially, you have pushing the Model B. Uh, yeah, that, that's, that's correct. So we have this uh, idea of a Model A and a Model B. And this is actually a, uh, uh, it's a, it's a shout out to a, a machine from the 1980s in the UK called the BBC Microcomputer which had a Model A, which was the entry level, mm -hmm. uh, and then a Model B, which was more full featured. So what we have is a $25 device called the Model A, uh, which has no networking capability. It only has one USB port. Uh, and then we have a Model B at $35, uh, which doubles the amount of RAM, uh, adds 100 megabit Ethernet, uh, and also uh, adds two, two USB ports. Now besides the, how can I say this, besides the, you know, learning the computer science part about it, notice through the forums that people are actually planning projects around these. Does this excite you? Does this give you more possibilities for future products? Well, yeah, absolutely. So uh, although we're intending to target the education market, we know that the first, uh, the first 10,000 of these are going to sell almost certainly into the geek, into the hacking community. Uh, and this is good news for us, because um, in the long run, we're going to be reliant on these people to develop the software and the, uh, the framework around our platform. You know, we're a small group of guys. We can just about manage to get this device out of the door. Uh, we're not in a position to do a lot of the software work around it. So it's going out with fairly bare bones software. And those first 10,000 units are going to go to people who we very much hope are going to help us build out our software storage. That's good to hear. And you said it's about three to four week lead time. So we should expect hopefully sometime in February? Uh, yeah, we might. We may just scrape into the end of January if we're very lucky and uh, the air freight all works out and getting these things back. They're being made in Shenzhen, uh, so they have to get back over from China. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, we're, we're, we're really, uh, it's, it's kind of the final, the final few weeks now of a five-year project. So we're <laughs> and how will we get a hold of one? Uh, so we're selling these directly from our website. We are discussing distribution. Um, but yeah, we're selling them direct to our web, from our website. Uh, we will ship them to anywhere. Uh, we're very much hoping we're going to ship bulk orders of these uh, to people in the US and elsewhere. We very much hope that people will buy bulk packs, break them up, and redistribute them locally. Because that's um, it's a very important part of the cost story, getting those shipping costs down. It's expensive. You know, once you have a $25 computer, the $20 it costs you to drop ship this thing via FedEx from the UK to the US starts to look like a very significant amount of money. So we're kind of really hoping we're going to get this local distribution network really pretty quickly. Well, thank you for your time, Evan. It's good to meet you. And trust us, as we say, we're going to be buying a few. <laughs> Thanks very much. Thanks a lot. Yeah, I plan to.